Hazel, could I have one of your tablets? Headache, Mr. B? Remember I told you the mayor had arranged for a limousine and chauffeur? Here you are, Mr. B. Thanks. What happened? The chauffeur's sick, and there isn't time to get a replacement. Well, you can't drive, Mr. B. You gotta give all your time to Mr. Pazenka. That's right. Well, what are you gonna do? Well, I've got less than an hour to drive to the city garage, get the limousine, and try to find... What are you staring at me for? I'm just wondering how you'd look in a chauffeur's cap. Oh, nothing to it. If I get tired of housekeeping, I may take this up permanent. <laughs> Hazel, we shouldn't be too long. And remember, no matter what Posega says or does... <laughs> A clock, I say this. A typical imperialist clock. Now, Commissar Posego, thousands and thousands of miles are traveling in my own country, in other friendly countries. Am I ever sick? No, only here, a block. Mike was a little rough. You want me to be sick, so I will go home. But you don't know Joseph Posega. Do you, boss? I will stay here and see everything so I can tell our people how lucky they are. Commissar Posega, I, I do not like newspaper men. You're all unfriendly. Well, you've been pretty unfriendly yourself, Commissar. I might even say rude. Rude, huh? I speak the truth. You are all afraid of the truth. In your country, Commissar. We do not speak of my country. Well, here we're free to talk about whatever we like. Who are you? George Baxter, chairman of the Mayor's Welcoming Committee. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Mr. Baxter. I'm Courtney Hicks, liaison with Washington. Nice to know you, Mr. Hicks. Unfortunately, our mayor's out of town, and I've been appointed... To... An other deliberate insight. I come to town, the mayor leaves. I can assure you, Mr. O... Not mister. I'm no petty bourgeois. Commissar Bozega, or Commissar, or Bozega. But never, never mister. Commissar, uh, on behalf of our mayor and our city, I welcome you. Uh, this is my wife. Uh, how do you do, Commissar? How do you do? In my country, the woman works. She does not waste time meeting airplanes. Uh, the car is outside. Look, Commissar, I'll get our luggage a hotel. Good luck, Mr. Baxter. In other cities, I was insulted by the mayor himself, not the substitute. <laughs> this way, Commissar. Who is this? I'm your chauffeur, sir. A woman chauffeur? I've not seen this before in America. Here's what I mean, a woman doing a job. This is good. I like this. What is your name, comrade? Hazel, sir. You have a nice smile, comrade Hazel. <laughs> Home, Hazel? Hazel, you can stop smiling now. <laughs> Commissar, this chair is much more comfortable. Comfort? I do not want comfort. I'm not a pampered imperialist. <laughs> what work do you do that entitles you to this luxury? Uh, I'm a lawyer. Oh, yes. One of those legal parasites. Feeding on the misery and misfortune of the people you keep poor. <laughs> I am not a parasite. Excuse me, please. As a matter of fact, Commissar. In my country, it's different. The laws are for poor people, not for a privileged few. Hazel, quick, the hors d'oeuvres before George does something terrible. I had to change my outfit. 